give up, Jack. Really? No one quite knows who or what they are. The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you are right or wrong, but how much faith you are willing to have that decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction, too, come to think of it. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt thought about during this mission is yours. 
And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Hmm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you. By the way, what is that? Dog tags. Anyone you know? No, never heard the name before. I'll pick my own name, and my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. They taught me some good things, too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word, even me. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry. I'll find him. Count on it. As long as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Hmm. Cheer up. We have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriots' identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to. something? Who am I, really? I wouldn't know. But we're going to find out together, aren't we? Oh. Yeah. See me for what I am, okay? I know. Do you remember this place? Of course. This is where we first met. I remember now. Mm -hmm. Today is the day I met you. <laughs> That's it. I 
think I found something to pass along to the future. What? He said all living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. The genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. It's up to us to teach that to our children. What kind of things? About the environment, our ideas, our culture, poetry, compassion, sorrow, joy. We'll tell them everything together. Is that a proposal? This is for your ears only. Life isn't just about passing on your genes. We can leave behind much more than just DNA. Through speech, music, literature and movies, what we've seen, heard, felt, anger, joy and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. We need to pass the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with. The human race will probably come to an end sometime and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. Snake, you there? It's me. I've finished going over that disc. Did you find the Patriot's list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All 12 of them. When did it happen? Well, uh... About a hundred years ago. What the hell? <laughs> 